Because death is a taboo, we don't talk about it, we don't plan for it. So when it happens, we're so bewildered, we don't have the language to talk about it, it's a complete shock. I have been doing deaf cafes for five years, I have done many, I've, I've spoken to hundreds of people, and I've never had the same conversation. How many words can you take to say, has died? Mm. is dead. Two word <laughs> phrases in English. Some of the stories are really sad and stories of pain and stories of of loss. The experience of death is, is very isolating and it's a time when people actually need more support but because it's such a taboo people don't have the language and don't know what to do so they end up not having the conversation, not approaching somebody. People come to a death cafe because they want to share that, because they want to hear other people's experiences, because um, they want to maybe tell a story, a difficult story around bereavement. It was so unbelievably devastating and difficult to be there. Death is part of life. It's, 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 it's a natural part of what happens to us all and yet nobody gets to talk about it because everybody says like, oh it's too morbid, oh we shouldn't talk about it, or it's too sad. And actually what we have in our death cafes is that we have a lot of laughter um, and that always surprises people. You, know, there's, you can do a lot to make it better. What we do is we go through life as if we're never going to die um, and so we're all on this treadmill, um, uh, all on, in this rat race and actually with a consciousness of our death that happens when we start thinking about it, when we start talking about it, then we make the most of our finite lives. So it's always really interesting and it's always really quite deep and it's always also quite funny and sad.